Andrew Luck has decided to retire from the NFL. I'm surprised when he made that decision. I didn't see it coming at all, as did many people. But I do understand why he retired. I saw the press conference and he alluded to being mentally fatigued. As we know, the NFL is a grind. So even though I'm sad, even though I am crestfallen about him retiring, I do understand his reasoning behind it. This man has dealt with so many nagging injuries from what the calf to the high ankle sprain that he's dealing with. This guy's had what a kidney issue. He's had to deal with a concussion. He has had so many injuries and I think the injuries have finally taken its toll on him. So I do respect him retiring. At least he's retiring at a young age. He's only 29 years old. So he has his whole life ahead of him. And who knows the real reason as to why he retired. I do agree with him. I do think it is mental fatigue, but it could be some doctor told him to retire. Maybe some of his personal advisors, people close to him, maybe have been convincing him to retire. Who knows? But I do respect him retiring. It's better to retire while you're healthy for the most part. And if he were to continue playing, who knows what would happen. Maybe he could get more concussions. Maybe those nagging injuries that he's having could get even worse. And we've seen players who have stayed in the game for too long, who didn't leave, well, you know, who didn't leave when they were really injured and later on when they retired, these injuries just stuck with them. And, we, and I've seen the documentaries, as many of you, of these former NFL players who are suffering concussions. Some of them can barely walk. A, a lot of them are battling depression. So these are real issues that a lot of these current and former NFL players face. So if a player wants to retire, hey, I'm all for it. Now I know that some of the Colts fans were upset that he retired. They were blindsided by this decision and they started booing him. I don't agree with that. Yes, I understand you being upset. Yes, I know that his retirement was sudden, but don't boo him. You got him for six wonderful seasons. So appreciate that. He did play, he, he gave 100%. He did not cheat the game. He did take the call to the championship, the AFC championship a couple of times. So you gotta give him props for that. And the man was very injured and we know that in during his time in, with the Colts, we know that the offensive line wasn't always at his best. So the offensive line was shaky. He was taking a lot of hellacious hits. And he still got up. He still kept playing. So I, we have to give him props for that. And I wish him all the best in the next chapter of his life. He's, he seems like a very smart guy. He seems like he has his business affairs in order. And one thing I have to say too is we have to give the Colts credit because reportedly they are allowing him to keep $24.8 million. So he got to keep some money. So if these reports are true, which I believe they are, the Colts should be commended for their generosity. Once again, Andrew Luck is retired and I'm okay with it. I'm sure he's at peace with it because he knows that, hey, his body is <laughs> taking all these hits and he doesn't want it to get worse. So I'm all for it and I wish Andrew Luck nothing but the best. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, you won't miss out on any new content that I post. So definitely subscribe and be sure to click on the notification bell too. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.